Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerPHP.com and KillerSites.com. Uh, in this video blog, I want to remind people, I've, I've covered this in many blog posts and I guess a few videos, but I'm just going to keep repeating this message because uh, it's something I get asked on a regular basis, almost you know three, four times a week. And that, of course, is about... Uh, PHP or web programming certification or web design certification uh, and getting jobs out there as a programmer or as a web designer. And let me just stress two very important points about the market out there. 80% um, of jobs are from small businesses, not big businesses, small businesses. That's just the facts. 80% are generated in small businesses. Now, you know, in your country, maybe 70%, you know, because I'm speaking to a worldwide audience here. But that's generally the case. And so you have to look at, when you're looking at, if you want to get a job working for somebody, chances are there's an 80% chance you're going to be working for a small business. That's a business with less than 50 people. And the character of the small business owner is that they're very practical and very pragmatic. So they don't care so much about degrees and certificates. They care much more about track record and skill sets and results because they can't afford to uh, just lean on people's certifications. Now, there may be exceptions to this, like if, you know, if you're in the medical professions or something where government mandates that you have a degree that's a different thing. They always have to look for that. But when it comes to web design and web programming, fortunately, right? let me emphasize this, fortunately, it's about skills, it's about ability, you know, and you, so you, if you are somebody who's trained at home and you can produce really kick-ass looking sites or you can write really good code and you can show, look, here's an application I created, here's, look at some of these websites I've done, that will get your work. Uh, in the market out there for small and medium-sized businesses max. When you go into large corporations, you know, 1,000, 5,000 employees, that kind of thing, 500 employees or bigger, then, and government, of course, then the whole you need to be certified or you need to have a degree BS comes out. And, and the reason it comes out there is because in large organizations like that, uh, you know, as the organization gets bigger, just like code, just like software, uh, just like websites, as it gets bigger, they become less and less efficient. So they have to put in artificial controls to try to maintain some sort of quality, if you will, or stability within the system. So in large organizations and in government jobs, they're going to have uh, uh, HR, human resource, resources departments, basically people who know nothing about your, in the case of programming, you're going to have people who know nothing about programming, you know, they've been trained in human resources, and they're going to try to make judgments about who they should hire based on a couple articles they read somewhere, or a video blog they've read heard somewhere. Unfortunately, so that's why you see rather in uh, job postings at government's uh, positions or large organizations, you usually see these ridiculous requirements which have no basis on reality. For instance, I've seen like job postings where they expect to, everybody to know, well, you should know Java, you should know PHP, you should know JavaScript, you should know jQuery, you should know Objective-C, you should know Photoshop and Dreamweaver. They just name everything, right? And there's very few people who know everything, you know? And it's it, it, it's absolutely silly. But anyway, I'm not going to go on that tangent. But so again, if you're looking to get work, chances are, and that's an 80% chance that you could be working for a small company. And in that case, certification is an afterthought 95% of the times because the business owners can't be concerned about uh, certification and degrees because these guys you understand entrepreneurs and i've been an entrepreneur for 20 years i started when i was very young when 18 and they don't look at that they, they don't have enough money to be concerned about that kind of crap and in fact a lot of these guys are, are sort of they don't trust uh, 
big institutions and higher education, they're not into that whole herd thing. They're into being individualist, they're into pragmatic solutions. That's why they're entrepreneurs. So that's what they care about. So keep that in mind if you're looking to secure work. And remember, the culture in the small business is very different from the culture in large organizations, you know, government or big companies. It's um, small business culture typically means that you have, there's more of a chance you have to know what you're doing. You can't hide in the system as they do if they work in government or they work in large organizations. That's, that's another reason why small business is much more efficient. It's much better because the, the people can't hide and disappear in the framework uh, with their incompetences. And we're a small business. If you're an idiot, you're going to be caught very quickly and given a boot. And that's just, you know, again, another issue that you have to consider yourself. You have to consider in this regard. Finally, if you have your heart set on working for a large business, a large corporation, because there's certain advantages to that as well. Um, you have to think that a certificate or online degree in web design will not cut it for these places. They're going to want, especially today, they're going to want technical degrees. They're going to want uh, related degrees. So if you want to become a, a, a software uh, designer, you want to be a programmer, they're probably going to want you to have a comp sci degree or a computer engineering degree. If you want to become a web designer, you're probably going to need uh, a fine arts background or something to that effect. A few years back, uh, you know, maybe five, ten years ago, if you just had a degree in anything and then you add on top of that, you know, web experience, whether it be programming or design and so on, you're in. Now they become, they're becoming stricter as time goes by. And, and even before that, back when I was doing, in, in the heyday, back in the mid, early 90s, mid 90s, they were so desperate for people with web technology skills that, you, you know, you didn't have any degree you're in, even large organizations. So anyway, as the industry matures, larger organizations are going to be falling back on their tradi traditional models, at least for the short term, of we need people with degrees because if they don't have a degree, they don't know what they're talking about, which, as I discussed in a previous video blogs, is a bunch of, anyway, it, it, in fact, I found the best programmers I know I've seen over the last 15 years are self-taught people because they, they really enjoy what they're doing. They do it for fun. Whereas a lot of people who go and get a comp sci degree or a computer engineering degree, you know, they may enjoy it. Some of them, you know, a certain percentage enjoys it, but you're going to find a significant amount of them. They're there just to get a you know, degree so they can get work. Uh, by the way, because I think there's a shift going on in the broader economy, economy, excuse me, I think that the value of university degrees are going to diminish over time uh, for a whole bunch of reasons, which I'm not going to get into now. But if you start looking around on the web, you're going to start seeing the things, you know, what's coming to light about higher education in the U.S. and Europe and, uh, and what's going on there. It's a whole, we're, 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 we're going into a period of time now where we're seeing a shift in the culture uh, and in the business community as a result of certain economic realities that are uh, coming to the fore. Anyhow, uh, that's it. So now you know if you're looking to get a degree or certification, you understand the implications about that. And uh, so think, think about which you, where you want to find yourself, big business, government job, or small business, uh, you know, and, and then as such, you can decide in what type of uh, education you need based on the type of work that you want to get. I hope you found this video blog useful and uh, take care.